we will transition right over from one West Virginia sport, the West Virginia basketball team, into the West Virginia football team. Been a little quiet on the transfer portal. That's not always a bad thing, for especially from Definitely. the sense, right? Right, Ryan is usually when it's loud. Sometimes you're 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 being poached from uh, your school, and you know we we got a future Big Twelve we'll, school. We'll talk about Arizona. Um, on the other side of this, obviously, we talked about the domino effect and how can it help West Virginia. Uh, of course, one way you can do it is by deteriorating another team because another coach leaves. But like I said, we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but obviously, we had the two safeties um, not commit, uh, decommit from West Virginia. But of course, that's a good thing. That means our star safeties of um, Burks and, and Wilson are staying here in West Virginia um, and that's a good thing, right, Ryan? We talk about it with the transfer portal is, hey, sometimes guys decommitting means the guys that you want are staying. And, and we saw that here. Uh, talk about the needs, Ryan, a little bit of, of this West Virginia team. It's kind of quiet right now, calm before yeah. the storm. They're talking about spring meetings and practices, of course. But obviously, we, we saw it like we did last year is these these spring practices, all of a sudden a bad practice or a bad spring game. A lot of opportunity comes from that. I I would I, I think you've hit it at it. I, I'd say the front seven, just some more depth. Um, I, I I just think that I you can never have enough depth. So especially with the injury bug. So I, I think it's going to come, like you said, it's going to come in the spring. So, but for now, like you said, the most important thing is is keeping your roster intact. That 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 that's all that matters. Yeah, especially the core of it. And we are way ahead of where we were last year. We've talked about this, Ryan, is keeping the core of athletes. It's like we know who the quarterback is. We just did a video on Nico, right? You have your backup quarterback that's thrilled to be here. A backup quarterback that could start somewhere else. I'm not necessarily saying a power five school, maybe, but it, it's this team is bought in. This team believes. And for someone that was on the hot seat last year in terms of Neil Brown is all of a sudden that seat is cooling down tremendously. And now it goes from, are we firing Neil Brown to, if we have a great season next year, Neil Brown may just leave on his own, which means he had a great season. And in mm -hmm. a way, that's a good problem as well. So similar to kind of how we've talked about more in-game analysis with West Virginia basketball is staying consistent and doing the right things. Kind of more from a macro analysis, Ryan, is now it's about can West Virginia follow up and expand on what they did this past year? Because, you know, nine and four, some good wins in there. Obviously there was a hail Mary that easily could have made this 10 and three. Yeah. But at the same time too, we didn't beat the ranked opponents. A lot of the other teams were a little softer and not as good as we thought. Obviously TCU will probably rebound this year. Baylor might rebound this year. It, it's we're still in a sense of purgatory with where we are with West Virginia. Cause you know, rosters don't get solidified till the summer. We're still waiting for other teams to play out. It, it's, it's definitely an interesting time with transfer portal and NIL, Ryan. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. But it's just, it's so nice to be on this side of things where you're not chasing for, for, for 10, 12 spots. You, you're just, you're picking off if there's more dominoes that come um, depth pieces. You're not, you're not worried about your core. You, you, you want mm -hmm. your core to come back. Finally, and, right. Finally. Yeah, you want to, you, you, I kind of think about it like, um, an NFL team, you want your core back and then you go into free agency and you add uh, a cornerback or a slot receiver or, or just a role guy to add to your core, but your core and your foundation is what wins games and hopefully championships. Mm -hmm. No, I, I couldn't agree more real quick, Ryan, before we transition topics, because this is a topic actually makes a nice, easy transition. We're just going to flash our opponent's uh, next year, real quick on the board. Um, obviously, we're Penn State's here. Albany at Pitt. Obviously, plenty of times to preview this game. So let's look at this Big 12 next year at Arizona, which we'll talk about in a second. At Cincinnati, which is a great uh, spot for West Virginia to travel to. At Oklahoma State, we'll see if they regress a little bit or they still stay strong. At Texas Tech, that may be a team that bounces back. And then, of course, here, Ryan, we've got Baylor, Kansas, uh, Kansas State, and then the tickers over UCF as well. This, this, Keep talking about it. I know we don't fully know how each team's identity is going to be, but I, I take that schedule hundred yeah. times out of a hundred. It's Five home the opportunities games. there. Yeah. It's funny. This has been going around online too, is 
we may go from preseason last last year <laughs> to preseason first this year and then of course oh, we'll we'll sl- I hope not. Don't, yeah please don't put us first put yeah. us like where where do you cuz cuz there's there's still a lot to figure out where do you at this moment in time and and the newcomers coming in obviously the the old the other teams leaving where would you put west virginia three third yeah who would you put ahead of them i think you got to put k state up there. I think that's I mean, fair. K State's been proven. Um I'm curious about their quarterback if if he yeah. uh, Avery Johnson if he can keep it up. Obviously. I think you got to put K State and Utah. Those just their proven it, yeah. proven programs over Man, over, over the track record with Winningham and then obviously Kleinman taking over from uh for Snyder. So, I would go K State and Utah, but then I I mean, you look right there. I, mean, I think the Mountaineers are in that next clump of a team that mm-hmm. can take it over. But if you have a bad year where you have bad luck injury like Texas Tech or TCU, you could fall to five and seven. It, it, the margin, kind of like in basketball, is very, very small. I, so, like like you said, we're, we, we are looking forward to the season. We think we're going to be good, but cautiously optimistic because we know how hard it is to win these games in this league and how quickly it can get away from you. If you have some bad luck with the injuries, bad bounces, lose on a Hail Mary. Uh, we went to that this year. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. To, I'm sure the schedule's got to be coming out here here soon. And to remind everyone, we don't have February? five away. I feel like that's what it was last time. Yeah. Last time we did analysis. As soon as it comes out, obviously, we'll, we'll break in and talk about that. I wish we were playing Utah this year. It would have been interesting to play Colorado, yeah. too, because who knows where Coach Prime's going to be after this year. Very We'll be, I'm sure we'll be talking about them plenty. And, of course, we do the Big 12 College Experience as well with our friend Troy. Go check out that channel and subscribe when you have a second.